Right, hello everybody. Excuse me at this brief because my battery's nearly dead, so I'll have to charge it up when I get set up in camp. I'm back to camp, Bob. It's Monday afternoon. It's, um, what time is it now? It's now 25 past four. Um, looking all fresh, my new haircut. I've even trimmed the old brows. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Right, I've come down because I've got a couple of extra days off. I've got well a couple of days off work. Uh, I've got a bit of graft to do with Camp Bob, um, and I'm also going to be setting up a new pitch in there. So stay, stay on the um, right. Just keep watching, and see you in a bit. Right then, I'll set up. Ready to rock and roll. Uh, sun's starting to go down now. I've been having a little walk around for a bit, checking on the camp. Um, it's quarter past five at night. I've got a load of work to do. I'm not in my area anymore. I'm vacating it, dismantling everything, tidying it all up ready. I've moved into the smoggy area, which is now going to become Lundy's area. Unfortunately, there's a few members decided that this camp is no longer for them and have left which is very, very unfortunate because I class them all as very, very good and close friends. Um, totally shocked, to be honest, that they've decided to leave. Um, but I'm not going to get into that. All right, that's, that's all I'm going to say about it. But this area here has been really, really well done. There's a lot of nice, flat, wide, flat areas, a lot of potential. There's a better area for me to make a lean-to shelter in, all right, which I'm going to try and achieve tonight and tomorrow. I've got to be back home for about three o'clock, so the time is of essence. I am alcohol-free today. Um, I'm not touching any alcohol whatsoever. If I want anything to drink, it'll either be water or brews. Or I think I've got a couple of cup of sous-sous as well. Um, yeah. So, basically, my plan is I've got my top set up there with the wind blowing to the back of us just to keep the wind up as the night. I'm um, still getting through a little bit on the bottom. I've never set up in this area before, so it's all new. This tree here, oops, sorry, that one, and the one with the sign on is going to be my new area where I'm going to build. I'm going to get one of my poles from the other shelter, put a ridge line across there and then slope it down but what I'm going to do is I'm going to neutralize this tree here and then I'm going to have to get myself a nice big spike stick it in the ground here so I've got the back raised a bit which gives us a bit more elevation inside the um, inside me lean to it's not going to be humongous it's going to be tiny and um, there's plenty of materials around here to use um, to make it more natural looking instead of looking like a shanty town or if, um, that horrible monstrosity that I've built on the other pitch. Um, so, fingers crossed. Right, I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to get myself some fluids. And then I'm going to start getting work, getting to work. I'll bring this back stage by stage because obviously I've got to hump a lot of stuff up here as well, dismantle things. I need to go and get a a couple of bits and more pieces, a few more bits and pieces out of the car as well. All right, so just bear with us, everybody, and hopefully this will work out. All right, catch you in a bit. Right then, everybody, as you can see, it's pitch black. I've made a start. Dismantled me other shelter just about, and I've brought a ridge line up, yeah, a pole up to put a thing on. I've just noticed the nail sticking out there, so I'll have to get that out of that. But I've just got to tie that one off, probably it's just tied up a little bit at the minute. For a little, little bit of string, just to keep it up. I don't want it being mega high. Um, it's going to slope back over, down to here. I'm going to put another, I'm going to put a stake in, opposite this tree. And then line with that tree there. And then I'm going to bring the other crossbar over and put it on that tree that's there that you can just see and onto the post all right i'm gonna cut that bit off and all that'll come in handy for probably a post <laughs> anyway right 
light, it's dark, it's getting windy, but it's um, it's alright, it's nice and warm. Oh, well, I'm busy in any way, and I've got me hoodie in that lot. Alright, um, I just keep bringing this back stage by stage. I'm just going to keep working uh, until a certain time, get a fire on, get some scran on, get a brew done. I'm just drinking a bottle of water at the minute. Um, I've got a homemade curry uh, to bring with us for tonight, seeing as it's National Curry Week apparently. <laughs> well, happy days. Homemade curry by me, Ma's boyfriend, which is amazing at making food, so I'm looking forward to that. And I've just bought a little pack of noodles just to fire with it. Alright, so. Why did I wink? Silly boy. Anyway, right, see you later. Right, it's now half past seven. I've started my fire. Alright, um, just get that burned. Uh, get some nice bits of uh, logs put on. I've had a little bit of a dilemma with my axe, which I'm not happy about because I've not long bought it. I haven't been abusing it, throwing it or anything. Um, I thought I heard a twanging and the handles went and snapped. So I'm not, it's all cracked. I am not impressed. So this will be getting sent back. I've not had it long at all. Um, I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed indeed. I've just been using it for its normal drills. For chopping stuff and banging stuff in. Not over excessive abuse. I've been I was pegging them in. So what I've been doing is look, I've got my ridge pole up, my main one, and what I've done to the back one, I've left everything at a slight slope. It's slightly sloping down over to the right, and the same with the one at the top there. It's just to let the run off of water be easier. So I've tied that one on the tree. I just need to cut that end bit off there. Coming along, what I'll do is I'll I'll put a, um, a support underneath the middle there, or two supports even. I've put some logs on there. By the time I get the weight on and all that, that's not going to move anywhere. And I'm going to lash it all around there as well to get it nice and tight. All right. Um, I was going to start bashing that log in over there, but the, the ground's just too hard, there must be roots everywhere, so that was my next option. But by the time I get weight on there, that's gone anyway. Alright, so, <coughs> fire's going well. Another little thing I've purchased off one of the boys from North East Bushcraft by Gary is this little ammo box. It's a bit dark, so what I'll do is... I'll run through that tomorrow and show you what it is. At the minute it's standing at 12.5 volts. I've had it for a few weeks. Um, so it's been sat outside of my shed and never been used. Um, so I think when it gets down to about 7, seven volts it then it's re rebooted up. I'm more 100% sure on that. I'll let the clarify that with Gary. I've got to make sure I didn't lose my cable there either for me. Um, what he can't. But I'm just charging up me light at the minute because it was dead as a door door and so was me um my camera was as well it's been over to mine to collect a few stores get me fire gun this chair and that it's windy but it's not cold i am um, obviously i've been working in that like so but this is going to be my new shelter and i'm going to build it up properly like the proper shelter instead of that mickey mouse one i've done obviously i've got a lot of stuff here that I've where the boys have um, done their hard graft on it and left so I'm going to reap the benefits of their great work thanks lads um, I'm going to get a few more logs split just as well I've got um, another axe down here stashed because I'm not going to use that anymore because it's broke um, right so <laughs> enough waffling I'm hungry now. Can I wait to eat this curry? <coughs> Excuse me. I've never stopped since I got here. Just uh, tying the area up a bit and getting this these rich pores up by yourselves and the easy task. If anybody that's gonna be for you is another, another score. Alright, but I'm gonna sit and enjoy myself around the fire the night. Tea total. <laughs> Thing is though, I wanna be up dead dead early tomorrow. So I can get packed away, get everything that I'm not using, put in the car, and then I can graft, 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 get my shelter done. Alright, and 
I'll probably put it on a time lapse or something once I've got all my materials uh, sourced and ready to go. And then, well, I'll just play it back here, see how it goes. I'm waffling, so catch us in a bit. Right, hello everyone. Right, I've got my pan of water on to make a brew, and the rest of it will be used for my noodles. This is my homemade curry that I've brought from uh, my Mars and Dave's. Oh, it smells lush. It's got all sorts in it, peanuts, chicken, everything you can think of really for a nice curry. So I'll be getting put in the pan in a minute. Um, got some bread as well. And I'm just going to put some instant noodles in, quick and easy. Um, and then just mix it all together and get it to my neck. Make some Korean noodle sandwiches. <laughs> but I, um, I've got my little lamp on the tree there behind us to give us some uh, light. Um, I've brought my box over from the other pitch down the bottom. Obviously the rest of that will be sorted out tomorrow. Um, it's dead weird being here without Betty like. You know what I mean? She, I've always got her. And, uh, she just didn't want to come with the neat. She was too busy. She, I, I think because our ma's... Um, she, well, that's has just been for a tattoo on her leg. And I think she could sense that uh, Sharon was hurting a bit. And she just lay next to her all the time when I picked her up this afternoon. Um, probably kill us for saying that she's just went and got another tattoo on her legs. But the both were covered from head to toe anyway. Um, I've never been getting tattooed at all this year. I think once. Sharon still gans every month. Um, I'd rather be away, spend my money on my kit, get my kit built up, and then I'll finish off my chest. Uh, well, my ribs. I've got a koi fish there that I need to get finished off because it's going to look pretty pants, isn't it, if uh, I didn't get it finished. But it blimmin' hurts. I tell you, that really hurts on your ribs. Like, on my back, the whole of my back was no bother at all. Um, but as soon as I got round to the ribs, even though it was the back of my ribs, you know, um, on the side it just really, really hurts. And anyway, enough about my tattoos. I spent a fortune over the years. Um, I, so I'm, I'm hungry now, I'm thirsty. I'm going to get a drink of water, get me brew kit uh, knocked up. Because like I said before, I'm alcohol free this night. Uh, this night, tonight. Um, no alcohol for me, by myself and I'm going to be working in any way. I want to get as much done as I can tonight before I get my head down, get some stuff stored away. My phone's gone mental. Messenger is uh, on the go. So I'll catch up with that later on in way. I'm sure if it's anything important, I'll get a phone call. Um, that's it. So I'll bring you back in any way when I get my tea set up. Um, see you in a bit. Oh, and by the way, it's lovely and warm. <laughs> well, there we have it. Homemade curry with noodles in. I think I've must have left the better half of it for Wallace. Oh, this is a um, vegetarian one, man. This hasn't got the chicken in. The chicken one's in the freezer. Aye, but it's still nice. It's got all sauce in it. So I'm going to tuck into this and enjoy sitting in front of that fire. It's it's not cold here in any way, but it's nice just to have the fire on in any way. I'm quite surprised how mild it is. The wind's dropped down a bit as well. So happy days. Alright, bring his back later then. Right, I moved that tree there because I was going to cool it all up for the fire the night. And in this ditch here, I found all these bits of wood here. Uh, there was quite a nice long one as well, so I've got my first beam coming down. And it just hangs over the edge on that side and at the back end there as well. Alright, I've still got to cut the end off that one. Um, now I need to try and go and have a scavenge and see if I can find any other long bits. It's got to be about 10 paces to go from that tree to that tree. And I think I'm going to need about three bits altogether for this. Um, like I say, it's not going to be a humongous shell, it's just going to be something where I can come and sleep in sometimes, or just, um, what do you call it, just to sit in. Alright, um, turn this light off, might as well turn it off because it's, uh, oh, it's gone from the 
system there. Um, I'm actually, I've got me, me little lantern up just so I can work. Fire's still going, I just keep feeding that every now and again, it doesn't need to be huge. I just want to keep it going for when I stop and I'm going to make another brew. I've still got bits lying around everywhere which is um, now new there. Alright, um, so, another stage done. I'm going to get this done tonight, you know. <laughs> I'm going to be grafting the neat. It's not cold, it's a little bit breezy but it's not cold. My hands aren't cold or anything but I'm working. Uh, and I'm enjoying it. I'm building again, lads and lasses. I'm building. <coughs> I've missed this, but it's going to look proper. Not like that piece of rubbish that I built down there. That's all getting taken apart, and it'll all be stacked up to use for other stuff. Um, or just to cut up and burn. All right, I want a natural shelter. I didn't want rubbish like that, like, nah, that's not what I'm about. You watch me videos from the beginning, I made that lush shelter. Back in Brockwell Woods, uh, Camp Valhalla I called it, loved that. But I didn't want a massive thing like that, that's too big for this type of woods. It's a little lean to, something to sit under, give out the rain, and I've already got my fire pit uh, area squared away, and I'll have a nice um, windbreak and that coming around. It's going to look superb, I'm going to be well over the moon with this little one. Alright, so waffling, so it catches in a bit. Right, hello everybody. Oop, right, that's bright. <coughs> now you wait. Um, oh, that's where it went. I was looking for that. Um, <laughs> I've been looking all over the floor for that. I think my whistle had come off my neck, but it's been in the back. What a plonker. Right, now you wait. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night. I'm still going strong. It's, uh, I'm not warm, I'm doing a t shirt. Because um, I'm just grafting, grafting, grafting. Right. Um, let's turn you around and see. Right, because I can't find any more wood lying around, like beams and that. Um, was there somebody walking down here with a torch on? Or is there a light off the road? Right, in any way, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, I've had to go down and get the bits of wood off me other shelter. And what I'm doing now, I'm just making a roof frame. Alright, now I've been thinking. Um, there's some nice big boards, I might put them on, I might not. Obviously, I'm just placing it out at the minute. As you can see, there's a lot of nails in these bits of wood. So I need to sort all them out before I actually attach them to where they're going. These bits here, all, all the downward ones are already connected on. Alright, I couldn't find any more lengths to fit there. Pity like, because um, I would like about another one, two, three, another four in there. And then I wouldn't need all these cross members. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be strong enough. I might even put a post in the middle of it just to give it that extra. But I think it's going to be alright. It's only tied on. Um, I can always put a support underneath here going to the ground and just lash that around the tree. That'll keep that up. And if I need to with a weight up on the roof, because um, I want to cam it all up and everything, so I might have to put a bar in the middle. But that doesn't mean anything to me, like, because what I'll do is I'll just neutralise that by blocking it off. And I'll make it um, a little front, front wall at the front. Look at that, I'm starting to build a shelter already, aren't I? Um, I mean, a cabin. But anyway, it's, like I say, it's 10 o'clock at night. So that's the way we're looking so far. I've just put a bit more wood on the fire because I'm going to um, stop soon and get a brew on. So I was um, looking through my little yellow box with my gear in and I found a can of pop. So that was happy days. So I've drank that now. But I think a brew's in cold for. Alright, so enough waffling. I'll bring you back when uh, I've got a bit more done. Season a bit. Let's turn that radio off. Right, so let me sell a cup of. It's uh, half past ten at night. Sitting drinking a cup of tea. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm, I'm quite enjoying just plodding on, grafting, nobody around, no alcohol. Um, it's because I've stopped, I've put my hoodie on and me, uh, me hat back on. 
that's uh, that's off. Aye, right, because it's uh, it is cool once you stop. But uh, I think I think I put a bit too much milk powder in there, like. But I had too much sugar. Cause I couldn't find my spoon in the box, so I just poured everything in out the out my little containers I've got. But I. Um, this type of shelter is the one I want. Oh, it's just a lean to. Um, that's all it is. Not humongous. It's not going to have a big kitchen on out in it. It's just going to be somewhere to sit under, sleep under, and that's it. No, no spectacular. I'm not going to put a bed in it or anything. Like I'm not building a bed in it. If I come down with a bed, I'll be come down with a camp cot, and I'll just store the camp cot somewhere. Uh, see if. It's just a cheap war one in any way, I probably would free them in the loft from when we used to take the kids out camping. Me two nieces and me grandson. But obviously they've all grown up now and they didn't like going camping with the, the granddad and the uncle. So um it's just one of those things and the kids grow up and uh sit and play on the games all the time. But never mind. I didn't have them when I was younger, so I didn't know what I was missing. I used to play rock catcher and Japanese commandos and Naughty Nine Door and all sorts of daft things. You know what I mean? I don't mean think kids now what them type of games are these days, do they? Anyway, I didn't come on yet to rant about kids these days. Hey, when I was a lad. <laughs> You would think I was about 90 year old and we haven't gone on. I'm only 32. <laughs> oh, which? Put me here shy of 50. But I think I'm being hardy for me for my age. Uh, you keep active, didn't you? Get yourself out in the boot. You're sitting indoors all the time, all the Aye, so, Betty's not sure. I feel lost without her, like. But I normally have to turn around and start shouting, Benny! Benny! Where are you? Come back here! She normally runs on her little wonders, didn't she? I've been dead busy in any way, so... I'm going to be fair on her. I mean, there's wood all over the place. Well, I'll sort of take it was just as well as nice weather in it. It's windy, but it's nice. Oh. Right, I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to probably just bore you and you will switch off. Alright, so I'm going to get the roof done now. I've prepped all the wood. So I'm going to get the, the remainder of the frame put on. I feel like oh, that looks. Must be a bit of curry on my face though. Oh, the curry was really, really nice. And anyway, cheers, Davy. Was lovely, mate. That's if you're watching it, like. <laughs> I think him and my ma sit down and watch them sometimes, like, but not all the time. But never mind. Probably bore them anyway. Um, aye. I'll get the roof done, and then I'll bring his back. I think I'm going to have a late night tonight. So years later. Right, well, as you can hear, it's getting windy. It's now 25 to 12. I didn't quite get my roof done, but I've, I'm just about there. So, not a bad night's graft. Um, I've enjoyed not drinking. I mean, I've had a cup of tea, some water, a can of pop, a lovely curry. A couple of bits of bread, wipe right the inside of the pan and that, get all them juices out. Um, just been plodding on, but the wind's definitely picked up now. I've actually brought me Arctic sleeping bag with us, just to uh, test it out because I've never used it in my hammock yet. Um, it's a lot easier to get in, excuse me, I've got a snotty nose. It's a lot easier to get in this than what it is a normal sleeping bag when you're in your hammock. Um, it felt nice and cool when I first got in, but it's nice and warm now. 
I think I should have put my top a little bit further down because it is windy. Very windy. But I'm going to be snug as a bug in a rug. Oh. Right, well. No doubt you'll see this ugly mug in the morning. <laughs> right. Oh. What have I forgot to do? I've got my water handy. Just kissing you. And I've got my pee bottle hanging out outside of my hammock right next to it, so I can just pick it up if I need a wee wee. And, uh, right. Morning, everybody. It's uh, about 10 to 6 in the morning. I've been awake loads last night. I've had hogs and kip, so I'll probably be going to bed early tonight when I get home. Um, I finally got into my scratcher about 12 o'clock last night, but I didn't fall asleep until about 1 o'clock. I woke up again about half past 4, quarter to 5, um, needing a pee, and I've just never been able to get back to sleep. I'll, I'll be doing this line thinking about what I'm going to do next with my shelter, so it's kept us awake. Um, it's still blowing a gale. It's a bit cold when you've got your hands out the sleeping bag, but I'll tell you what, it's definitely time for um, the Arctic sleeping bags out now, like, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the Camp, camp Bob. Because um, we're up high in any rate. The winds get, because we've thinned out all the woods, the wind blows through a lot more now. Um, I haven't got my top down properly. Like, low to the ground, sorry me, um, net's getting in the way there, so the wind's still coming through, but I'm alright, yeah, you've got a cold hand holding the camera, the tarty is, but hey ho, as soon as you get warm, I'm going to put it under my armpit, right, I'm waffling loads of rubbish here, so at any rate, I'm just going to um, lie, lie in my hammock and chill, Hopefully all my brew kit and everything's at hand and I can just lean over <laughs> and make a brew in bed again which I enjoyed that when I was done with the Delissa uh, Mark Retreat for Veterans um, If you haven't watched the videos on that please watch them um, The lads down there are doing a fantastic job and it's all come out of their own pockets especially Paul um, Paul, if you're watching this, hello mate. Can I wait to get back down there? Like, so you've had a few more visitors and all the stairs are finished. Happy days, looks really good, good jobs. And there, uh, that big tree looks like it's getting sorted as well. I hope you've got loads of nice planks. Anyway, right, I'm gonna get myself sorted out, uh, give it another hour, I think, and then I'm gonna get out my pit. And then I'll bring this back and I'm going to pack up and then do a few more hours graft on my shelter and then just have a walk around camp having a look and make sure it's tidy and that. Uh, tidy up a couple of bits and pieces around the area where I am. Alright, so see you in a bit. Eh hey, well, still in the movement. <laughs> I'm sitting in me sitting in me hammock getting swung around like a lunatic. The wind is amazingly strong like. Um, I've just got some tunes on in the background. I but I turned that down actually because I'll get done my cop get done my copyrights. So kinda be having that. I um I'm just sitting mucking on my phone, doing some posts and that. Um Looking at that post. My eyes have just gone dead blurry. I definitely need to get a pair of glasses, like, because I'm gone blind. Um, aye, it's absolutely blowing a gale. Oh, it's going to be fun taking me hammock doing, like, and me talk. We talk will probably end up halfway across the woods, but I'm going to be knackered later, like, I've just never been back to sleep. Right, well, I must say, um, it's 8 o'clock and I'm still in my hammock. I've never moved, never moved with my hammock. I've even got a bottle of pee in. 
<laughs> it's absolutely blowing a gale. I've been sitting watching the trees now, the sun's coming up. Um, and I tell you what, some of these trees are bending quite scary. Like, um, I've never been here when it's been this windy before. But, needs must and all that. You can probably hear it. I don't know if you can see it. I'll take you outside my hammock net. And uh, let's have a look at these trees. No. Giving it any justice, really. Just this blowing a gear, it was bending like more. Um, and they swore there. You can see them ones down there. Look at that. Down next to where my camp was. There, Ben and Reed over there. Um, but it doesn't look like it on the camera. But anyway, I'm definitely getting out of bed now. Time to get up, get some graft done, get some breakfast down my neck again. And uh, another cup of. Alright, so catches in a whale. Right, well, I'm up and out. Um, obviously, this looks like a bomb site at the minute. Um, but shell that's going to be coming on. I'm just thinking about them boards, I'm not 100% sure yet. But they're all going to be covered by a tar. Um, the ends of the um, course and that will be cut off I think and then I'll do that in the last minute as well but I'm definitely going to be putting a support bar which is there it's going to come about here and that's going to give us a little living area there where it's going to be all like sealed off so I'm putting a bed in there and then that'll be like my sitting area and my admin area Alright, so I'll just put one of them posts I've got there into that because that'll give that some extra support as well which it needs Alright, so it's it's windy it's not freezing but it's windy as you can see looking at me tar you know, it's, it's proper pushing it in but it's giving us a bit of shading anyway I've had a makeshift make uh, windbreak with my tub lid just to get the kettle on. I'm not putting a fire on, it's no point. I just use a gas burner, um, get some food, get some water and that. I'll have a, have a cup of then I'll make some porridge just to get the cup as well. Um, see if I'm dishes and wash them and all that. I'm just I'm going to be out a few hours and maybe I'm just walking with the rubbish really on But um, yeah. I look rough. You'd think I'd been on the drink last night. I had a can of coke, two cups of tea and a half a litre of water when I was working. Um, I think I was on, on me. Chatland building and sitting and chilling at about 11 o'clock in between like putting the, the main structure up um, yeah anyway I'm all, I'm all wrapped up keep myself from the wind and uh, I'm just gonna crack on all right so I'll get a cup of my neck and I'll bring his back later on Right, hello everybody. As you can see, it's growing a gale. It's a nightmare trying to do this by yourself. But, at the minute it looks crap on the inside. All right, but that's gonna change soon. All right. You'll not see all that wood at all. The outside, I'm waiting for another top coming a more heavy duty one. But I've salvaged the one from down the bottom. It just fits. I've got a couple of little bits extra to do to fasten down the top part and that. Alright, as you can see I've got gullies going down over instead of across, so that'll help the flow of the water off the top of the shelter. And it's at a good angle as well. Alright, so 
if I bring it to this side, see, it's a nice slope that, so I'm not going to get any puddling of water on there, even with that rubbish tarp, because that tarp's done me proud over the, um, over the months, over the top of my fireplace and that, it's never let anything in, even though it's got little holes in, but what I'm thinking for the inside, because I've got the nice flat boards, alright, I'm going to see this here, I've went and bought myself a tin of uh, a roll of um, foil and this will help insulate it so when I've got my fire here alright the heat will reflect into there and bounce down over and it'll insulate the inside as well so that's going to go on that air uh, on there but I'm going to bring some proper stuff down to fix that um, I'm just going to hammer it on my nails because it'll just rip alright what I've done at the back there um, couple of couple of poles, and I've wrapped the the, um, the rest of the top in over. Because if you do it out over, what it's going to do is it'll just put up loads of uh, fluid, like fluid, loads of rainwater, and it'll just stink. So the best thing to do is roll it in over, so it's inside your shot, inside your top, inside your shelter. Sorry, I'm getting all tongue tied here. All right, so I've got a few bits to fasten down on the sides and that and a few bits here. I've cut off all the um, overhanging bits apart from that one there. So I'm going to stop and uh, get some water and make a brew. It's now what? Uh, 20 past 10. I've got a couple of hours and then I'm going to shoot off home. So I need to get all that packed up over there and get all this area tidied up and down the other end uh, tidied up as well. Alright, but what's going to happen is when I'm in here this wall is going to be totally blocked off. This is just up temporarily for the time being. All right, but this is going to be basically the area of where I'm going to sleep. All right, there's enough room to lie down in this, and then I've got all that area to clean. All right. Yeah. Obviously, the bottom part of the slope will be all my storage area. Yeah. And then I'll sit on the side of that. But my storage area will also become my, my workspace area as well. Alright, so I'm happy with this. Yeah, plenty headroom. I've noticed a couple of holes in that top there. But like I say, I've done that big one coming, the big heavy duty one, and that'll go over the top of that. It'll just give it extra protection. Alright, so it's a canny size, but it's, it's little other than that other one. That other one was too high. Um, is ideal. All right, all right. <laughs> so, a lot of tidying up today, but we'll get there. I think I'm just about done. Well, I am for the day, in any way. Right, we we'll start at the back. All right. So I've got a side up there now. I'm sorry I didn't bring you along today, but I just get carried away and I, I just keep forgetting. Right, so I put some canvas up on the inner side just to make a bit of a I don't want it air tight, I want a bit of air flow coming through it. Alright, um, the back, let's get myself around. Alright, back's all sorted, bit of cabinet on the top of it. As soon as I get me the other top, the cabinet will come off. The other top will go on top of that top, and the cabinet will go back on it. And then it'll probably get covered with loads of uh, all the little bits of um, debris on the floor. The other side there, all done. Little gap in the corner, but I'm not fussed about that. All right, there's going to be a big gap in the front anyway. All right, still got to sort that out. And there's the bottom part, all done. I've got a few little bits and pieces stored in there. That's going to be where I'm going to sleep on that side. So I'll have a little bit of air thing from there. I'll just bring a bed and I'll sleep on a sleep on a cotton there. All right, and then this will be like a sitting area. All right, and I'll have me fire down there with a windbreak, and then that'll keep us nice and toasty. So I've had a quick little tidy up. Um, still got a lot of work to do. I've got all that to put away, get packed away. It's now ten past twelve, so I need to start getting motivated. I need to go down the other end and quickly tidy that up as well. <sighs> 
I'm absolutely sweating. I need to go and get some water from the kitchen. I'm thirsty and I've run out of water. Um, I didn't even have any breakfast. I just got cracking straight away. So I'm hungry as well. So I might stop for something to eat on the way home. Um, I'm just waiting. Demolish whatever's in the freezer and in the cupboards. Or oh, get a Chinese. Might, might score some brownie points for the Chinese or something nice. And anyway, right, enough waffling. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ta-da.